what's up wild people welcome back to the channel if you're new i'm alexandria denise and this is an update on my salad bar which is not quite looking like a salad bar anymore early season i had planted this uh kind of in the beginning of spring and had a nice full luscious growth which you've seen in probably my watering videos so go check it out but it's not the heat that killed my plants um i had to do a big call off because a few weeks ago we had a um we had a pressure washer come to pressure wash the building I mean, it looks pretty nice but he did take care in um you know watering them first because they let us know about it i didn't have time to come over and put in some plastic just to kind of at least shield what's in the immediate vicinity of it excuse the mess i gotta take those to the recycling plant but my dill and basil which was over here at the time and i had some other plants i just planted those so it wasn't a big deal i had one job guys one job and that was to come and cover my worms and my garden bed here but i didn't think it was going to do too much of anything and i was wrong so yeah uh even if you watered them and he did water them beforehand because i came out here i water my plants every other day it gets like super crazy hot here in Georgia. Uh, excuse the air conditions there. But um, I came back the next day. I was going to water them. So let's just say Monday I watered them. I didn't water them Tuesday. But I was coming back to water them Wednesday. Uh, they were looking extra healthy. And I was like wow. That watering session really did wonders. But no. He had actually come that Tuesday uh, to water or do the pressure washing but he watered them for me and I ended up still watering them on Wednesday before I even knew um you know he had come along because I, I think I remember asking when they were coming they weren't quite sure but I didn't want to cover my plants with plastic and smother them out you know every day and I was away you know working so but the long story short it wasn't it, it wasn't too too bad but a good portion of my uh garden is gone because of the um soap runoff that was in the pressure washer so the mist that comes down it burned a lot of my foliage so i had to get rid of a good portion of my leaves here and just keep some now a lot of these have uh went to seed here and I just kind of left some up, but also replanted what I could. And as you can see, I got some coming up. So these are my red cells. And I planted some more along the way. My onions are still holding up, so that's good. Uh, my arugula, you can still see some of the aftermath of the burn there. You know, the soap burn. It's the mist from it that came off. And it also killed my worms here. So some of the runoff got in my worm bin killed my worms i gotta get some more the swiss chard though has uh bounced back some but i got new growth coming these are the uh salad bowl blend my lava wash spinach haven't been doing so well in this heat i thought they would be heat tolerant variety but my matador spinach has been doing a lot better than that um but my swiss chard is pretty much a survivor it's got new sprouts coming up I had to get rid of some of the old dead parts uh, of those but like I said I got other things that I planted maybe a week or so ago that's coming up so I should have another full bloom here pretty soon I was gonna do a call off of the uh, garden towards the end of the season too but I changed my mind on that because the salad bar was holding on so well it was so beautiful and I was still like eating salads every other day or whatever but um, probably I'll have better luck replanting a full bed by the um, late summer and just in time for the fall and the cold and everything like that. But it seems to be coming up because this part here gets shade. It's right about now, maybe going on one o'clock. This area here gets shade in the afternoon and the rest of the day. So this was the perfect area for me to put my salad bar to where it gets morning sun. I can come out here in the morning and water them um and then you know they get shade the rest of the day perked up 
and everything so but these are my little gems which have been very heat tolerant and I'm very pleased with those but now they've gone the seed so I did plant some other ones I'm gonna have to come out and take that out my arugula I love this variety of arugula this is the uh, Diplotaxis tenopolia it's basically the wild variety of um, of arugula my domesticated kinds uh, ugh, ended up dying you know they couldn't withstand I put them outside one day one day and they already just like killed over so I should have kept them in the house but uh, yeah they can't stand the heat much more like the uh, wild variety so much that I had to plant another batch of the wild variety that I just watered here so I'm gonna fluff it up knock off some of the leaves but it's in the shade now for the rest of the day but these taste very good in my omelets in the morning as well as my matador spinach over here and I had to kind of branch out my spinach I wanted it growing over there but I decided to put the lava wasp spinach there watermelon doing very good but uh, gotta get rid of a lot of these stupid Japanese beetles I haven't had them too bad this year but they are still a nuisance to me so every time I come outside I just pick them off but it's been over here eating and now I know what it was that's been eating like that some Japanese beetles because I've come over here and I found like a lot of black spots on my leaves as well as my leaves looking like this and now I know it's them hmm. thought it was a mystery in the night there but uh yeah so this is my spinach here it also kind of gone the seed as well but I did plant more it's done this is one that I had in the early season so obviously it's matured a lot but I did plant more that's uh coming up here as you can see but they're growing in full sun here my bloomsdale spinach they ended up dying off early but the spinach is a part of my salad bar. I just got it growing in different places here. I uh, got my chives coming up over there and my uh, tomatoes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Salad bar has run its course for the first half of it. Now I just gotta completely wipe out enough of this to make room for the other little bit. Now with that said when I was planting my seeds I noticed that the ants were carrying my seeds away as soon as I plant them they would go and um, dig them up and then start taking them off somewhere I'm like if y'all don't move this is mine so got to deal with the little ants there you know but my uh, onions don't show any signs of slowing down so I like that. These have been like this for a minute. It's my first year planting onions. This is my first year doing as much as I have done in my previous years of gardening. In my previous years of gardening, I had to keep everything um, kind of at a minimum, you know, because I do live in an apartment complex and I didn't know too much about, um, or rather a town home. I didn't know too much about companion planting and this, this, and the third. I was just planting things individually. And um, yeah, but now I learned a little more about companion planting. I was able to maximize my garden and the results are as you see, you know? But like I said, this was a lot fuller than this and I'm trying to get it back to that. I have my, oh, and my salad bar wasn't the only one that was affected either. That was just the immediate effect because it was close to the building. Um, much closer to the building to where the mist and everything of the soap could get on the foliage a lot better. But my, um, let's call this Meyer lemon tree. It actually had some residue. I came and wiped the leaves off, uh, but you can still see some of the white there. I gotta get here and wipe that off. But my Meyer lemon tree has a uh, strong protective cuticle on it. So the leaves here, they um you know they hold water on the leaves without it burning too bad but some of the chemical uh soap 
or the soap here you can see that white spotting yeah that's just residue that's left over from uh, the soap there so I came out here it was much worse than that really came out here and just wiped off some of the leaves and it's doing fine it's a trooper but also some of the mist came over on my uh, watermelon here and uh, that's why you got some of the spotting here on my watermelon leaves I had to get rid of some of them I didn't get rid of all of them so this is one of the last batch because I wanted to give my watermelon time to form new leaves before I just take all of the ones that was damaged so this is kind of a, the last batch there but they're doing pretty well this is my Kim crimson sweet I had to hammock them the other day it's getting pretty heavy and good I just watered them this morning as well as refilled the Oyas so got my sugar babies there cucumbers back there strawberry you already seen my bell pepper and spinach and just the whole shebang and even my blueberries kind of speckled these are if you can see it she probably can't but uh yeah some of my blueberries were uh, speckled from the soap runoff as well I also did a pruning on my cucumbers. This is probably one of the leaves that I left on there from the cucumbers that ended up getting damaged. You saw them at the bottom there because it's actually grown a lot bigger since. I've been picking off the uh, flowers so that they can grow bigger and stronger and it's worked out. I think I'm going to leave them alone now so that they can um, you know, start forming cucumbers. I don't know if I want to let them get a little bigger. So I'll probably just pick off the flowers some more. But yeah, this is my 2024 garden, small space garden, had I could say. But leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think I should do right here? Which I pretty much know what I should do. But I mean, it's always great to have a second opinion on what to do and how to how to do it. Uh, give me a little more insight because uh, you know I don't know everything that there is to know I'm still learning just the same and I like to share what I learn with you guys but um, yeah so far pretty much so good did I plant anything right here huh. that's why it's important to label your stuff guys label what you planted and when you planted it because you will not remember also guys, go check out the new movie that I'm a part of called Empathy. It's now available on Tubi. We just got picked up by the CW uh, streaming network as well as, um, as well as Roku TV. So it's called Empathy. It's a psychological thriller slash fatal attraction. Uh, mainly dealing about a lot of these influencers out here with the whole alpha male beta and all this other everything. So go check that out pretty good reviews so far on the film really appreciate the support and uh, if you're interested in me as an actress I am on Instagram as well as IMDB and just uh, type me in Alexandria Denise as well as uh, my Instagram Alexandria under slash uh, Denise under slash official so that's where I am on Instagram or just check the link below this video so until then guys stay wild